What's up, everyone? It's time. You know what time it is. It's time for this day in history. Come on. Let's go. On this day in history, June 20th, 1756, British soldiers were taken and they were thrown into a cell that was called the Black Hole of Calcutta. Now, uh, I don't know if you know anything about physics and science, but a black hole, that shit sucks you in. And that shit rips you apart. So you're getting thrown into a cell where that's the nickname of it? <laughs> uh, no, man. No, thank you. That does not sound like a good place. And it wasn't a good place. Because on that night, lots of people died. Lots of people perished. So that was not cool. Why did they do that? I don't know. Also this day in history, June 20th, 1782, the Great Seal of the United States was adopted. The Great Seal featuring a mighty eagle. And in one grip set of talons, he's holding 13 arrows. 13 arrows that signify the 13 original states. I don't know why arrows. They could have literally picked anything like 13 peanuts, 13 acorns. But arrows, I guess, are more catchy. And in the other side, in the other set of talons, he's holding an olive branch. The leaves. What does that signify, you ask? I'll tell you. It signifies America, the United States desire for peace. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears> There's <throat> some in my throat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it signified, uh, the United States desire for peace. <laughs> peace. <laughs> we, we, we desire peace, the United States. Yeah, we start a lot of shit. Yeah, we like to, like, poke hornet's nests and shit. But we desire peace. I don't know. They can stick with that one. But anyways, that happened on this day in history. Also, this day in history, June 20th, 1819, the 320 ton. 320 tons, people. The Savannah became the first steamship to cross the Atlantic Ocean. It was a 320 pound steamship. A steamship. The steamships were dope because it was like no more using sails and relying on if the wind is blowing or not. Like we can't sail today because there's no wind. No more rowing your own ship places. Shit gets. My shoulder's hurting just fucking thinking about it. Like, fuck that. We got steam power now, baby. I don't have to do shit. It's cool. Also this day in history, June 20th, 1837, Queen Victoria ascended to the British throne. She ascended to that motherfucker. Sorry, part of my French. Or part of my English. But she ascended, ushering in the Victorian era a whole era was named after this woman, so you know she was the shit. You know she was. Come on. They don't just do that. They don't just name errors after people who suck. Like, they wouldn't name an error after me. Wait. I don't suck. Anyways, the point is, the British had a long history of women who ruled and did the great job. Their men, eh, they did all right. I mean, they like to, like, chop people's heads off and start wars and shit. But the women, they knew what was up. Shout out to the women rulers. Queen Victoria Elizabeth I and the still reigning Queen Elizabeth II. That's what's up. Shout out to the women. Also this day in history, June 20th, 1863, West Virginia. Not to be confused with regular Virginia, but why the fuck would you do that? It's called West Virginia for a reason. They really wanted to distinguish themselves. But anyways, West Virginia became the 35th state of the United States. So happy birthday, West Virginia. West Virginia is known for its coal mining industry. And coal mining is known for, well, <clears throat> the <clears throat> black, black lung. And so uh, I guess you could say West Virginia. You can also say happy birthday to black lung. What? Nah, I wouldn't say that. Never mind. Also, this day in history, June 20th, 1893, Lizzie Borden, 
who murdered her parents in cold blood was found innocent by a jury in New Bedford, Massachusetts. She was found innocent, even though she was literally ha had the murder weapon in her hand. Even though she literally walked up to her dad while he was sleeping and chopped his face into a million pieces. She literally walked up the stairs and literally hacked her mother into pieces too. But she was innocent, apparently. That shit is fucked up. I was like, that must have been like the OJ trial of its time. Because like, everyone was like, oh yeah, she did that shit. But she's, she got acquitted. Like, what? I'm, I'm not saying OJ did it, though. But we know he did that shit. And we also know Lizzie Borden did that shit. So shout out to Lizzie Borden for getting away with murder. <laughs> Last but not least, on this day in history, June 20th, 1967, Muhammad Ali... Muhammad Ali was convicted of violating selective service laws by refusing to be drafted into the war known as Vietnam because it was a bullshit ass, dumbass war. And he wasn't gonna fight a war against people, like he said, who didn't do no shit, didn't do nothing to him. They weren't his enemy. And let's face it, Vietnam was probably the dumbest war America's ever involved itself in. Now let's let us uh, go back to what I said earlier about this day in history, how that great seal of the United States was founded on this day, and uh, that seal, the eagle, is holding an olive branch with leaves because it desires peace. Yet uh, we're gonna go into a foreign country like Vietnam and fight a war that's not our war. But you guys, but we desire peace. What the fuck are we doing? Muhammad Ali knew it was bullshit. He got in trouble for that. They called it draft dodging at the time. No, no. That's a no, no. But you know what? I would have dodged that draft too. I would have dodged that shit. Straight up. But anyways, that concludes this day in history. If you enjoyed that, like and subscribe. Subscribe and like. Don't dodge me like the draft. Embrace me.